Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh once again today i will be doing a quick review of the iSkysoft PDF editor pro for mac this is an all in one software for creating converting and editing your pdf files it's a very versatile and feature rich software for your mac though there is also a windows version now there you go the software there is the interface with four options edit convert create and combine files with this software, you can convert PDF files into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, HTML, image, etc. Now the first thing I want to show you is the OCR that is Optical Character Recognition function and I am opening a snapshot of a book I have taken. It obviously works with scanned images or PDF files and you can now play with this text that is you can edit, you can convert this into word using the OCR function which is already showing up here. If you don't get this option here, you can actually go to the top right corner and perform OCR. This is basically an add-on feature you need to download separately after you install this software and also don't forget to select the language. It's complete and saved as a PDF file separately. So let's open the PDF and try to edit. It will open here and there you go. Now to edit the text, I need to click on this edit tab and the text is now editable. I can double click anywhere and start typing right away. The interesting part is the font, the background, the size, everything matches with the text of the book and there is no way anyone can tell whether this PDF has been edited or not. I can also modify and delete the existing text so this OCR function is extremely handy. Most interestingly, you can also change the font of the existing text, just select the text and from the drop down menu choose your font there you go it's as simple as that just like your ms word the file i'm currently editing is a pdf which was previously an image now you can not only modify the existing text you can add text anywhere you want with this option just click anywhere on the pdf once again the font and the size matches the text of the book now just like word you can also add images with this option here so click and select the image you want to open there you go now here at the top you are also getting a markup option with which you can actually highlight any part of the text just select and on the right hand side you have this highlight option with different color options you can choose from and you can also draw annotate you can put different stamps sticky notes you can also add links i will show you one by one you can also erase the drawing you have made so this pdf editor is extremely feature rich to add any sticky note just click here and put the note anywhere you want now double click and Write the text. Now to read the text, you need to click on this sticky note. To put annotations, you can click this option and put the text box anywhere you want. There are some preloaded stamps you can apply anywhere. You can also make one. It's also resizable. Last but not the least, these are for adding links to the text. Just click and select any text. Then put the link. Now if I hover the mouse pointer on the text, I will get this hand icon and I can open the link right away. Now guys, let me show you how to edit forms. I have downloaded some interactive forms from the iSkysoft website. So let's open one and edit. Now on this form, you can write on these text boxes right away. You can also edit the text, the heading, the boxes, anything you want. 
just like the way you did on PDFs I have shown you before using this editing option. Using markup you can put stamps here which is most handy in forms. Now the most interesting part is there is basically a dedicated option for forms. So once you click here you are getting this text box names and if you double click you can actually edit the text box names and also put tooltip. Let me show you. Now after you close it, if you hover your mouse pointer you will get this pop-up tooltip. So indeed a very handy feature. Now in addition to tooltips you can actually customize the appearance of the text boxes or text field as you wish. There are different options you can check. Well with this software you can even create a form. You can put check boxes, radio boxes, text boxes anywhere you want. Once you turn off this editing mode, you are getting these options active. Now to download the forms, you can actually go to the iSkysoft website and click on reference. There you get the forms. I will put the download link in the description below so you can check. Now let's open a big PDF file to show you more options on this PDF editor for Mac. Now as this PDF file is not scanned, you can edit the text right away and there are different pages option you need to check. For example, you can rotate, you can delete pages, extract, replace or crop pages, split the document into two and also insert from other PDF file you want. You can also specify the pages. Now there are a couple of handy options you can check. For example, you can put watermark on specified or all the pages of the PDF. The watermark can be a text, an image or even a PDF file itself. You can of course set the transparency level as well. The background of the PDF can be changed to any single color, any image or a PDF and you can also add header and footer. The text can be added to the left, center or the right side of the PDF. There you go. You can also add bits numbering and most importantly you can protect your PDF using a password. There are actually a couple of options I want to show you. For example, you can put a password for the whole document or put some restrictions. You can restrict editing and printing of the document. You can even set the maximum resolution for printing and also the changes allowed. There are four different options you can choose from. The encryption level can be set to 128 or even 256 bit. Now there is a very nice shorthand trick I want to show you. If you want to save any image from the PDF, just double click in the editing mode and click on extract. You can extract all the images on the PDF file as well. Now apart from the options I've just shown you, you can actually do a couple of more things. For example, you can align, you can distribute, edit fields and a lot of other things you can do with this PDF. As you can see there is also a redaction option with which you can actually omit or hide any sensitive information you have on the PDF. For example, you can hide your phone number, your mail ID, you can either select and mark for redaction or you can search. So if you want to hide any keyword like your name, your phone number, just put the number here and search. Now you can hide all the repetitions of this keyword.
last but not the least let me show you how to convert this pdf document into different file formats by default word is selected you can change this to excel powerpoint almost all the office formats of course you can do the opposite conversion now if needed you can enable ocr right from here you can add more files or the whole folder using these options here. Now you can convert both files simultaneously. There are different settings options you can check as well. Well friends, we are almost at the end of this very detailed review and you can buy this PDF editor pro for Mac for around 100 US dollars. You can of course try for free on your Mac or PC and overall this iSkysoft PDF editor is worth trying. You can use the link in the description below for downloading this software. Well friends, that's all in this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe.